So my husband and I have gotten over here to, so I had to drive my husband here to the auto parts store and I was driving into the driveway and I saw this. Take a look. Are you kidding me? Echeverius. I mean, it's Echeverius City right here. Oh, there's more. Oops, I almost tripped. Look at this. Oh my god. I wish I had this many Echeverius in my. This is me. I'm addicted to this Hi guys, I just want to quickly point out, um, because as I was plant replanting this Echeveria Chroma, um, I have it in a bigger pot. It was in a small pot like this, four inch, and I was just thinking, okay, um, what if I'm not the only one that's wondering how tall or how high I should put my, my plant where it's sitting in the pot? Um, so I put it in there for now and just to see like do is this how I want it or do I want it higher so that I can enjoy it if I'm back farther away from it if I'm up close and I'm looking down on it yeah it's perfect but do I want it so that when I back up I can still see it and you know it's still beautiful so I thought about it and um, remember that the soil this soil right here is nice and loose but as you water it's going to be tight and compact so every single time you water it's going to go down 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 so i thought okay well i should really plant it add more soil to it add more soil to it and see okay is that where i want it i think so but then i have to figure also that when i pack the soil around it it's going to go sink down back down in so so I'm going to try to cover the roots while I'm packing it in so I think this is a nice height for it okay but I don't want to see roots sticking up there because again as you water that soil is going to pack down so you want to kind of go about maybe half an inch or an inch above the line, the base of it, just to be sure. Because I've done so many plants, planters before where I did that and now it's like sunk in almost halfway down the pot. So I've got another one right here. Make sure that the roots are nice and spread out. The more it's spread out, the better. Oops, what am I doing here? The, the, the faster it's going to grow. Because it has room to, to do it, room to grow. Okay, so I'm packing. Whoops, see, see your, your soil is very loose because of, it has to have a lot of drainage and that's why it's important to put rocks around it just to hold it down and anchor it. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm good. Then I have this Echeveria. Echeveria Painted Lady. The nursery named it Echeveria. I mean, Crassola candy cane, but it definitely isn't a Crassola, and it's definitely not a candy cane. And that's one color. So I have to look that up. I have to look it up on Pinterest. Um, I may be wrong, but at least it's close enough. So this one I want to kind of, I want it to kind of creep up over the lip of my planter. So you got to keep working it, working it. If you have to add more soil around it, you should go ahead and do that. Turn it, turn it towards you. It's very windy here. It's very um, distracting when it's windy. So, sorry. I'm trying to work as I show you. It's heavy. This Echeveria Chroma is pretty heavy. It has a lot of um, leaves around it, so you really gotta pack it. Pack the soil in there. Keep adding. See how the see how the roots is starting to come up. You don't want that. Because every time you water, the soil will erode around it, and you end up with a raised root plant. Keep packing the soil. I love these little things because it's it can catch the soil and I do not like mess. The less mess the better for me. <laughs> if you want to get one of those, I have the link in the description. They're very cheap. I think it's like six dollars for the two of those. I gotta keep packing it, packing it, packing, and just keep working at it. If you don't want it, see this one's already laying down. I don't like that. Okay, that's better. I gotta put some more soil around the front here. I think it likes it peeking over. Gonna add some more. So I found this plant, Calico Marniariana. Marniariana. Okay, it's a tongue twister again. And it looks like it's kind of closing up, protecting itself. I think it's dry. So I'm just gonna add that on the outside of this pot. Doing the same thing like I did before. Making sure that oh I'm gonna I'm gonna add this Harry Butterfield to set of area hybrid. Make sure you take out all of the dead leaves before you put it in the pot. This tool right here, very awesome. Because I could dig around it as big as I want the hole to be. There, 
perfect. And add some more in between. And put another hole in here. I think I'm going to be able to put three groups. all the bad leaves here. Getting rid of all of the soil. I reserve, I save the soil and um, make sure that I put some fungicide and I'm going to pour some vinegar in it because it's not going to hurt the acidity is not going to hurt the, the plant because it likes acid anyway but it is going to kill whatever bad things that's in the soil when I bought the, the plant from the nursery gonna get rid of all that. Pull that. Pop, 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 pop. Make sure that your plants are standing up. And then just I'm just gonna add some more soil around it. And I love this scooper thing because it controls how much goes in there. I can control it. And I'm just going to finish this off with some rocks and the, the set, the kit, those tool, that tool kit that comes has this little perfect brush. It's a flat brush. You can brush all of the debris. Make it pretty. And just add some rocks to it. I'll have to go get my rocks. I don't have enough out here. I have a little bit in the wall, you know what? Add some more soil in the front just to make sure that it's standing up. I know when I'm outside I don't talk loud enough. Um, I have neighbors and I don't want people to think that I'm talking to myself because <laughs> it does sound like that. Just make sure that you have soil compacted all around it because you know again you just have to keep an eye on it whenever you water it and if the soil is eroding and it's starting to show your your roots you don't like that because then you'll have dam root damage look how pretty so pretty i'll take a picture how you like me now? How you like me now? Look at this one. It's getting a little bit of flower there. Um, that's it. I added this um, hairy butter field in the middle just so there's not a lot of space in between. But I am going to put my rocks in to make it more attractive. And then the only thing I need to do is clean up. These keep an eye on it. Make sure you keep an eye on it because the soil is going to be sinking every time you water. Look at how pretty this is. I just love this purple color. And that's an Echeveria Chroma. It has a two tone pink and kind of a bluish green tint to it. And this guy right here is Kalanchoa 
Marnie Ariana. Marnie Ariana. Cool. Then the Harry Butter Butterfield. And this, this one right here is a Echeveria Painted Lady. So I'm going to put sticks around it to identify what they are and who they are. Okay, here she is in the Hunker Glory. Now, sometimes this brush won't go deep enough in there. So all I do is I just blow on it and it'll get rid of it. Just like that. There you go. Beautiful.